This is a dedicated facility where it simulates all what we expect to see and we want to test in terms of performances on Mars. The arrangement you see here is a setup we have to perform egress tests. Actually, what we're testing in this period is different configurations of slope and orientations of the lander and the rover. In reality, what will happen is that the rover will land encapsulated in the platform. Then it will unfold the wheels and the ramps will be deployed. This is a very delicate and potentially dangerous operation. We want to account for any adverse situation. For example, landing on the foot of a small hill, which have our, our lander tilted. Or landing when our ramps open, we have an obstacle on one of them, or one of the other ramp lands on an obstacle, so you have to egress in a tilted configuration. Now the test platform is tilted five degrees. We are simulating what the rover might encounter when it lands on Mars. They are just checking if they can push the test to the limits. Yes. It's can no... Yeah. That will help to do this. I mean, can we go? We never did it, but... We are increasing the level of difficulty of this test. Before, we went for 5 degrees. Now we are moving up to 15 degrees. If before I was nervous, now it's even worse. Все, что может произойти, сдвижка на замках, и она коснется. The rover has to overcome actually um, obstacles which are a ha have a height of at least 250 millimeters. Um, there are pyramidicals, round or square ones, and we will test to overcome one or several in different inclinations. Without deploying actuators being strong enough, we can implement an additional locomotion mode, which we call wheel walking, which articulates a motion around this axis. And this motion gives very good traction uh, capability in very soft soils and in very high slopes. Uh, eventually we will be able to go to places to uh, find uh, interesting elements on the surface of Mars and basically achieving the intended operations and the return in terms of science. We are on track for Mars. We plan to complete this test uh, basically as planned with uh, some minor glitches here and there, then continue with a further more elaborated test. Many other tests are taking place across Europe to get the rover ready for Mars. While the flight model takes shape, science instruments are carefully installed and the software runs all possible scenarios to guarantee a good performance on the Red Planet. Stay tuned for the next episode.